So I'm listening to Joe Rogan talk about like the first man on the moon and the implications associated with how we haven't actually gone back to the moon in almost uh, 40, 50 years. And like, why is that? The technology that we've had on the moon has it's uh, amazing advancements in space exploration and with us wanting to colonize, say, Mars, for example. But he also talks about how, you know, why is it that we haven't been able to why haven't we taken the opportunity to start mining the resources on the on the moon also? And, you know, there's trillions of dollars worth of resources that can be utilized to probably bed, better the, the whole planet Earth with regards to, you know, energy and resources, you know, tenfold. Why, why hasn't a, a corporation um, stood up and taken advantage of the opportunity somewhat? And, like, that's all good and well you know if it's going to actually help the economy and create up op- job opportunities and like really start our true exploration of the galaxy whatsoever but my concern is that you know through movies like oblivion for example with tom cruise where yeah you know spoiler alert but the alien race in general tends to they've somewhat obliterated a portion of the moon resulting in it affecting the earth's gravity causing catastrophic weather events such as crazy cyclones and tsunamis and hot and cold weather seasons um, pretty much eradicating 90% of the population overall as a way of overtaking the human race which is a very interesting perspective um, overall. So with that in perspective, clearly Hollywood, but maybe it's what I'm going to say is rooted in fact as well, is I'm concerned about the fact, you know, like the size and the density of the moon is quite relevant to its position in the solar system and how it circumvents the earth and that delicate balance that it does have on our environment. And a lot of people, I guess, don't really understand that. Um, and my concern is that if we start to compromise the moon's uh, resources and start, you know, removing portions of that, you know, its overall its overall volume, its overall the amount the mass of the moon itself, would that not compromise its position in the solar system somewhat and compromise? Uh, like our weather system the way it currently is as well clearly this would be something a process that would take you know maybe another 10 20 50 100 thousand years before the full effects of us mining would uh be realized but i'm not the smartest person on the planet but part of me goes i would think that you know similar to how if the human body loses weight and we lose a significant portion of our mass with regards to you know body fat and everything like that our bodies move differently, don't they? It, it, it affects everything internally. Like, it's not so bogged down. There's, there's something more energy efficient about it. There's something that is completely different. And I, I don't see how the environment overall would uh, work any differently with regards to that. So just a little brain fart, really, more than anything. Just just a random thought I had here whilst I'm sitting here waiting for my food to cook. And, yeah, I hope you have a great evening. If you're interested, Joe Rogan was talking with Matt Walsh and the, the latest one of his latest podcasts. So have a look through his list. It's halfway, probably around the halfway mark of the podcast itself that they talk about this type of stuff. And, like, Matt Walsh has some good points. Joe Rogan has really good points. It's all based around conspiracy theories and everything with regards to, like, the, you know, first landing on the moon. Was it real? Was it fake? And then it's against the JFK, you know all that type of stuff but it is interesting but i can't have a feel that yeah i think you know just the effect of the human race in, as well with regards to what it chooses to do and how we think we can we have control over the planet or resources or each other is um yeah there's a high power out there and it could be just the fact that we're supposed to be where we are and the universe and that's as far as we're going to get unless an alien tells us otherwise and 